Howdy folks, Ben from Snowies again. Today with one of our most popular products. It's been around for ages, the Mitchell Expedition Swag. Um, now they come in three sizes uh, and they've been updated in the last sort of 12 months in 2017. Uh, there's the single, the jumbo and the double. The single is what we've got here today. That's the, the narrowest of them all. The jumbo goes a little bit wider and the double obviously there's enough room for two people. So it goes 90, 110, 140 centimeters in width. When you first get them, they're quite compact in the box like this. You need to give the mattress inside a bit of time to puff up. If I unrolled that right now, the mattress would look pretty uh, unappealing to lie on. But uh, this one's been on display in our store for a little while, so it'll give you a good idea what the mat looks like. So I'm gonna unroll this one, show you what comes inside the box and uh, how to set it up today. So let's get started. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Not a whole lot in the box. You've got the main swag with the mattress inside. Get some pegs, there's six, they're reasonable pegs there. They'll be fine for most ground types. Now it's a three pole setup, so you've got three poles here, two gold ones and a silver one. Silver ones for the center pole. There's a three section pole, which goes at the foot end and a four section pole, which goes at the head end. So these poles have got a, a pre-bent shape to them. So we need to work with that shape a little bit. You can see there's, there's a natural curve there already. So to put these in place on each corner, there is a small pin. This pin goes up inside the pole. Before we put that in place, we need to feed it through the sleeve at the top of the swag here. Goes through like this. Through to the center. Put the pin in place. Gradually work the pole through, pulling the sleeve across. And same thing on the other side. From there, there are these plastic clips that just go over the top of the pole, like so, on both sides. So we do the same thing with the pole at the foot end. This center pole we can leave until we've got the guy ropes in place. So we'll get this in next and then peg the guy ropes out and the uh, swag will be upstanding. So we've got both end poles in place. Next step is to peg the guy ropes out on each end, on the awning at each end. We've got a guy rope, this end and this end. That's gonna hold it upright and then we can put the center pole in. There is an option on these, there's eyelets here and here to use the uh, swag ridge pole kit that comes from Austrail. So you can put it between those poles and push these poles apart, which uh, means you don't need to use guy ropes. But as it comes in the box, we'll need to put the guy ropes in. So I'll grab a couple of these pegs and put them in place. There's a few different attachment points for the guy ropes. There's a little, this is the foot end of the, the swag. There's a little awning here. You could probably, um, I originally attached the guy rope to here, but it, it left the center of the swag quite uh, quite droopy. So I've attached it to this upper point here. Um, and you probably uh, just need another little bit of length of rope or something to attach uh, or to peg this out. That could just sit loose though in good weather. You don't really need to do that. Actually, it's got a little Velcro tab there to keep it in place. So that's the end poles in place. Next thing is to unzip it and we can put the center pole in place. Okay, so I've got my center pole here. To put it in the, in the center of the swag, the, the little pins that go in the bottom of the pole are actually inside the swag, just down on the side of the mattress. And then underneath this mesh, there are tabs to go around the pole. So the first thing we do is put the pole into these pins. And then we can just attach these on here, unless you wanted to roll it right back. In other words, attach these on here. There's a couple more Velcro tabs just down on the inside of here to attach to the pole as well. And then we zip the swag back up again. You see that the center is supported. At this end, we can just tuck this flap underneath the storm flap. There's a Velcro tab here. Just keep that in place. And that is the Mitchell Expedition swag all set up. Ready to go. Now, I'm gonna show you how to pack this up now. 
pretty straightforward. It's just everything in reverse. The benefit of this rake in particular is the lighter weight canvas makes it really easy to roll up so you can get a nice small package and it's lightweight to handle. So first thing we do is take the guy ropes out, take the pegs out, uh, take the poles out, we put the poles inside the swag, roll it all up together and we're good to go. So that is how you pack up. Well, that is the Mitchell Expedition single swag. One feature I didn't mention was these straps. Now these are actually attached to the swag, so you're not gonna lose them. Makes it nice and easy when you pack it up, you don't get to the last minute and realize your straps you have left somewhere or you've lost them at the last campsite. They're all attached there with two metal D-rings, so it's nice and easy to pack up. These are one of our most popular swags. If you're after a good value swag for occasional use, it's gonna last you years and years. Grab yourself a Mitchell Expedition single from Snowies at the lowest prices every day, free delivery, Australia-wide. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.